Alright guys, what is happening? I was planning on going off the beach today for some tarpon. I'm glad I didn't because I was not prepared at all. So basically we are out on the new kayak. I know you can't really tell. But yeah, we are out on the new kayak and I'm looking to catch my first fish on it today. I really wanted the first fish on this kayak to be a tarpon, but not gonna happen. So basically today we are gonna be featuring a specific lure that I've been using for a while in salt water that not a lot of people use. I know I've mentioned it before in my videos. If you've watched my videos before, you've probably seen it. This is a Z-Man Turbo Cross, just on a quarter ounce jig head. So basically we're gonna be using this in salt water today and we're gonna be catching redfish, trout, and flounder on it. I've caught all three in all my videos, so um, you can go check them out if you want to. All right, so when I'm fishing with jigs, I always like to put some Pro Cure scent on this thing. I always have a lot more luck when I put scent on a lure. Especially in this dirty water, fish will jump all over this. So what I just, so what I do, I just very slowly tap it off the bottom. Oh my gosh. Man, he just thumped it. Oh my gosh, nice flounder. Nice flounder. Get him in, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's go. First fish in the kayak. It is a beautiful little flounder right there. Here we go, guys. First fish in the kayak. We're going to put him. Gosh, this guy will not stop. We're going to put him on a stringer and we're going to bring him home. Gosh. Gosh, stop. Stop. Stop, holy crap. All right guys, first fish in the kayak. It's about a 14 or 15 inch flounder. Let's get another one. So basically what this little lure imitates is either a crab or a little shrimp. And everything eats little crustaceans. So, so you can't hurt yourself by going with a little crustacean imitation. Another one. Nice flounder. That's pretty small. That is a pretty small little flounder right there. I don't even know if he's legal, to be honest. All right, we're gonna let this guy go since he's pretty small. Hardly has any meat on him. Get out of here. All right, two flounder on the board, one keeper, and the other one, it could have been legal. It was probably 12 and a half, 13 inches, but they don't have much meat on them, so we're gonna let them go. So this lure is doing pretty good. So we're gonna keep throwing it, see what else we can catch. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, that's a nice flounder. Oh my gosh, yes! Woo, right next to the boat, baby. F3 flounder on the board. All right, we're gonna get this guy unhooked and then we're gonna put him on the stringer with the other guy. Gosh, what the heck? These things are freaking out today. I don't know what the heck their problem is. All right, two on the stringer. We're gonna eat good tonight, boys. If I can get one more, I'll be very happy. I'd like to top it off with a nice 18, 20 incher. That would be epic. They're all coming from the same spot. They just like congregating in front of these coves where these baits are going in and out of. And I don't know why, but I have to get like right on top of these freaking fish to get them to bite. Usually it's the exact opposite. They'll spook before you even get within 50 feet of them. There's a lot of bait around here. Shrimp, mullet, mud minnows. This little crawfish imitation will stick out. Now if you can see there's some little shrimp jumping out of the water over there and usually that's flounder. So I'm gonna cast over there. There's fish everywhere. 
just a matter of getting in front of them. Guys, I forgot to mention Soft Science shoes. I'm wearing the fin boots today. All right, guys, I forgot to mention I have my Soft Science fin boots on today. So basically, Soft Science, they have really comfortable fishing shoes. These are their fin boots. So if I want to get out and wait or something or get on a sandbar, these are very comfortable. So um, go ahead and check out Soft Science. Uh, you won't regret it. They have some awesome shoes. I'm going to fish in this little cove for a little bit longer and then I'm going to expand out into the creeks. For the most part, the bite died down over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I almost took that bird. Gosh, you crushed it. What is this? This must be a bluefish. Oh, gosh. That's a big fish right there, boy. Yo, what the heck? Yeah, it's gotta be a blue fish. Big blue. Oh, it's a red fish, what the heck? Oh, that's a nice red fish. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Nice red fish. Don't get my trolling motor. Bruh. Nice fish. Play him out a little bit longer. He's not hooked that good. Gosh, the way his head was shaking, I thought for sure it was going to be a big blue fish. Or a jack. Look at that fish. Nice redfish right there. Not very long, but he is fat and solid. So we're gonna get a picture of him and let him go. Nice redfish right there. I would measure him, but he's been out of the water for a little too long. So we're just gonna release him. I would have kept that fish, but honestly, redfish, I'm not a huge fan of keeping because this area, while people say it's loaded with redfish, it really isn't. Now, I would have kept that fish if I was somewhere else in the state and it was loaded with redfish, but this place doesn't have many redfish in it. I know some people will say that it does, but I think that's a complete lie. Let that guy go, and we're gonna go out there and see if we can catch another one. And don't forget that was on a little crawfish so this is kind of proving my point this is a very underrated saltwater lure got the dinner in the cooler they were each around 14 or 15 inches so their decent size will be enough for me i kind of wish i kept that little flounder or that redfish now because uh, those two little flounder they don't have much meat on them again this little lure right here did the trick today i caught four keeper flounder, actually three keeper flounder, and one keeper redfish on. And I was only up for a couple hours, so I would say that was a pretty decent trip. So tomorrow I'm planning on going tarpon fishing off the beach, so stay tuned for that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.